This is the Monsable Pinot Noir from the Pays Dock in France. Yes, Pinot Noir, one of France's most important grape varieties, as the grape you'll find in all of its red burgundy, arguably the country's most famous and also most expensive wines. So a quick one on burgundy. Uh, I know you can see famous bottles like uh, Gevre Chambertin go for crazy money, and especially in a restaurant, uh, but I've also seen more accessible price points. You know, are they worth a try? So Burgundy as a region has one of the most complex systems of hierarchy amongst its sub-regions, all with certain rules and regs that dictate how the wine is made and accredited, which ultimately leads to changing prices. Navigating that can be super tricky and there's no real guarantee of quality unless you really get your head down and do some research. What Burgundy is famous for though is bringing the best out of Pinot Noir one of the lighter red grape varieties. They tend to dabble with oak as well to enrich the wine further. So you get an easy drinking wine that's packed full of flavor. And this is where you tell me that, you know, this wine's achieved that too, right? Absolutely. We are not far away here from the southernmost parts of Burgundy. We've got the same grape, we've got the same subtle use of oak, but because we're in the Pays Dock, it's not such a prestigious wine region. We're getting fantastic value for money. This really is a classy wine for the cash, and you could call any French wine snob with it. Oh, I mean, excellent stuff. To me, what stands out about this wine is that it's just so silky smooth. Uh, and it's why I love Pinot Noir. I don't think many reds go down any better. Yes, this is crazy drinkable. Pinot Noir, as a lighter, thin-skinned grape, is already low in tannins. That's the bitter astringency you get with some of the bigger red wines. That all comes from the skin. As I say, Pinot Noir is already fairly light on that but what the use of oak does is smooth those tannins out even more. And I know this is a great food wine, as we had it as a favourite for Christmas. Yeah, you got it. Just like the Shire name made by these guys, it was our top pick for Christmas. Great with a roast, as it's not too heavy, plus it's got enough flavour to match up to those different things going on at a roast dinner. Oof. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Cheers. Cheers.